As they approached Jerusalem and came to Bethpage on the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go to the village ahead of you, and at once you will find a donkey tied there, with her colt by her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, say that the Lord needs them, and he will send them right away. Most years when I read the Palm Sunday text, I always identify with the people. The people are celebrating, they're waving their palm branches, they're crying out Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. It is a time of excitement. It is a time for God to move. It's a time of celebration. And I don't know about you, but I don't feel like much of that this year. I don't feel like much of that this year because I have trouble celebrating 
in the midst of the many ways that we are restricted. All the celebrations we're missing, all the ways we long to be free and we're not. So in truth, this year I identify with the donkey. You know, that lowly donkey, that cult that is tied up, that can't be free, that doesn't have the liberties that perhaps when it's free on the farm is used to. Doesn't that sound like us with social distancing? Yeah, that donkey is tied up. And my gut says that after a while of being tied up, that that donkey longs to be free and maybe even gnaws at the rope, maybe even pulls a little bit, but it stays in position. And here's what blessed me on this Palm Sunday. That donkey's willingness to stay in position is in fact what prepared it to be ridden by Christ. My God. Can you think about it? I know we see all of this restriction and all of this limitation as one of the ways that we're being held back and released of our rights. But what if this year's restriction was actually designed to prepare us to be used by Christ. That text says that Jesus tells his disciples, go into a town, you'll find a donkey confined there and tell them when they ask you why you're loosing it, that I have need of it. What if God is restricting you and restricting me because God wants to do something in the restriction that God will have need of on the other side of it. This year, I encourage you in the midst of this high holy season as we move through the way that over and over again, you will consider that maybe Christ has put you in position so that when the time comes and Jesus has need of you, you will be ready to ride. Ride on, King Jesus. No man may hinder me. I'll see you tomorrow.